are 613 what? Levitical commandments. He told us uh, not to wear mixed fabrics, not to eat shrimp and lobster. He went through a million things we weren't supposed to do. He you think never he had a good reason for doing that. Do you think there was a good reason that he did that? No, I think it's absurd. The point is, he took time out. You don't think there's any, you don't think there's Eric, any at all Eric, from back then, Eric. before they had the standards and the health standards that we have today, you don't think there's any reason at all. You're serious. You don't think there's any reason at all for him to put some of these things into effect. I'm not even going to go down that road because the point is, he took time out to tell us those 613 things. He took time out in Exodus 35 two to say, kill anyone who works on the Sabbath. A few verses later, a man goes and picks up sticks to start a fire, and people capture him and take him before God and say, we caught this guy picking up sticks. God says, kill him. Okay, this is not a loving God. This is not a God we want to worship and praise and hold up high to be holy. This is a God who is a tyrant, who is murderous, who is having people killed, and who is saying, and this is why I wanted you to read Exodus 21, 20, that it's okay to even beat your slaves. As long as your slave takes at least three days to die, you don't get convicted of anything because he is your property. You can sell your daughters into slavery. If, if a man rapes a little girl or rapes a woman, as long as, she, as long as he marries her, he's not in trouble. These little girls are forced to marry their rapist under your God, and you want to ask me about morality? Yeah, I do, because I go, okay, what standard makes you say anything is right or wrong? And How I do you it. call I mean, that book a moral book when this is the lessons it teaches? 